I were you and I were to buy just one of these three figures, which one would it be? Stay tuned and I'll show you. We've got three incredible versions of this Goku Black or the Crimson Masked Saiyan. And today we're gonna dig deep into these three figures, see what the difference is and find out which one I think is worth grabbing. Let's get into it. So today we're looking at 30, 31 and 34 of Beast Deities. Sobek. So this is like, <laughs> this is always, if you haven't seen the other reviews of the other versions of this figure, used to be Kong Studios, but now we're looking at this god, the Egyptian god crocodile boy, but there's three versions of him, but they all look the same, but the numbers are different. What are all these boxes? Let's get into it. Starting logically, numerically even, we're gonna look at number 30, which is Sobek, which is the body of Goku. We've got this pen holder, which is the head, the hair, and then we have the face plates, which are uh, labeled as bookmarks. And so, you know, if you go to 5K Toys, which is obviously where I got this because you looked at the link in the description before you ask that, right? Everybody go to the comments and look for the person that said, where'd you buy this? Because they always, they always... Go to 5K Toys, get on this thing before they're gone. All three are listed in the same thing. And look, Kong Custom is what you're going to look for on 5K. But you don't even have to look because you're going to click the link in the description, aren't you? Thank you. So 61 bucks, not bad, because look at how much stuff you get in here. There was three boxes worth of figure. You get four face plates, a gigantic Super Saiyan 3 style uh, hair piece. You get this body that has a tail on it. No shirt though, you gotta pay extra for the shirt. Look at all these hands. And then of course, because this is a crocodile god, not a Goku black, <laughs> you're gonna get this all black plastic crocodile head, crocodile paws, which look like that. Very simple. And then everything you get here, there's gonna be a left and a right. We've seen these hands before on pretty much anything that comes from this brand. You get the left and right of this hand, which has the uh, kind of fighting stance or key blast. You get a punching hand, which is looking pretty sweet. You get definitely a key blast hand or maybe a face gripping hand. Classic fighting stance hand, which will be in a lot of Dragon Ball stuff. And then you get this one, which is, uh, you know, use it however you want. I don't care. And you get this one if you're pointing at stuff because sometimes you gotta let people know what you're talking about and you point at things over there. And then maybe they didn't quite get it. So you point this way instead with a little bit more firmness uh, to the fingers. I don't know. Face plates, you got this one, which looks incredible. This has a really, really nice effect on it. Look at that fire coming off of the mask. That is really, really nice. I'd love to get more effects like this that are maybe full body or something. You get this face plate, which is uh, maybe he got punched. He's hurting a little bit, scratched up. His eyes maybe swollen shut. You got this one, which is, hey, I'm pretty cocky. I'm like super powerful because I've uh, eliminated like 99 Gokus across all the multiverse. And then you get this one, which is, all right, you know what? Enough playing games. I got to do some damage to your face. The hair, which looks wonderful. We've seen stuff like this before with some other brands and some other figures. It's really just like a Super Saiyan 3 hair sculpt, but you get articulation in it. So there's like a three tiers, I guess you could say, three segments, which will be great because you can actually uh, maybe get some articulation from the head without having some problems there. Let's put a faceplate on there. The toughest thing about these hair pieces is that uh, they hurt. These are super sharp. <laughs> so it's looking really nice. I'm digging this whole setup, man. I This is actually like a, a, a solid job on the quality. Which, of course, I mean, Beast Deities has been doing this for a while as Kong Studios or whatever, but the quality, as I've reviewed in the past, has been top of the line, baby. So here you go with uh, Goku Black. His shirt has been ripped off. It's just kind of dangling down his waist. But then you get this awesome sculpt with a tail. How about that? This is like he's, he's uh, I guess, powered up. This is it's probably all from the, the same card game slash video game the super the what is it the heroes superheroes i don't know <laughs> i forget <laughs> but i i guess he actually does this in the game ow yeah that hurts <laughs> i got little divots in my hand look at that he is looking fantastic goodness sakes so anybody that's like a big fan of gt or just those higher level forms of uh dragon ball characters like super saiyan level four i think you're kind of getting back into that, right? Like his tail comes out. He's, uh, you know, even though it was chopped off at birth or whatever, not at birth, I don't know, not for Goku. 
as a, as a kid. Articulation is going to be spectacular on this thing on the body. We've seen that before with this brand, but there's no shirt on his top half to limit him. So he can go even further than the last one that I've reviewed, which I think was number 27. And this hair really doesn't stop anything from happening, which is really awesome. Man, this is fantastic. Now, big hair pieces like this, they do tend to cause some weight distribution issues. So you might need a flight stand for this guy. I don't know. His joints are super tight in a good way. So I think you're going to have some some great posing opportunities and you're not going to feel like anything's getting loose. It's not going to feel cheap. It feels better than SH Figure Arts most of the time, especially when they had that like kind of quality control issue. A lot of figures getting really, really loose. But this is wonderful, man. I, it's got a nice matte finish on the skin. Head looks great. It's got this awesome face plate. Let's move on to the next one because I feel like we're going to have a lot of similarities between the, the accessories. Now we're looking at number 31 and 31 looks a lot like 27 in the sense of the body being the same, the white head, the paws, all the hands uh, we've seen before. He's full body clothes. Uh, he's got no tail, shirt, everything's still there. So this is basically what we've seen before. And I don't have 27 anymore because I gave that away to a Kofi member. So if you want to get entered in for future giveaways, then just become a Kofi member over uh, on Kofi. <laughs> Obviously, there might be slight differences. I'll put this here and then on the left side I'm gonna put a, a screenshot of my other one, which I, I think is just the same thing doesn't matter This is looking fine. I already know this but that's the difference in the bodies between 30 and 31 pretty big difference Obviously, there's a shirt and a no shirt and then a tail and a no tail other than that we're basically the same thing. Moving on, we got the hair piece, which looks to be exactly the same thing. So it is this pink hair piece. That's fine. The face plates are different. These are mostly half masks or three quarter masks. So you have, I think, maybe again, something we've seen some of these in the uh, number 27 review, but we have this straight on angry face. We have this eye. It's a little smaller, a little more like he can't believe that's happening. <laughs> and then this one, which is a little different. I don't know. There's not a lot of differences there. One's got a pupil, the other one doesn't. And this one, which is the face is busted off. The mask is busted off, but he's kind of got this uh, side eye going on looking good. So there you go. That's the biggest difference between these two, between 30 and 31. Which do you prefer? Do you like him clothed up? Do you like him uh, without that? Do you like his glove hand or do you want it bare with the, the, the ring? But all the hands are the same. All the accessories are the same. It's just a difference of visual on the chest, no tail, and then the face plates are going to be different. Let's get on to number 34. Where's 32 and 33? I don't know. All right. We now have the biggest shift between these three figures. This one visually is really exciting. So the body of this one looks like this, which is obviously purple. It's not black. This has changed. This is a totally different look. I wonder if this is also uh, accurate to the game. Like maybe he powered up to another level and he goes like this, or this is supposed to look like he's glowing like with an aura, like aura, <laughs> like they have done with the Kaioken series of Dragon Ball, whatever. Look at this guy, he's got his tail back. So he's a little similar to that one with the no shirt, but now he's purple, he's got his tail. Face plates are the same as what we get over here with number 30. So we're looking at number 30 here, the hair, the tail, the no shirt, the face plates, the little flames. That's happening over here. However, the flame is also recolored. So now you have this purple coming out of the flames. So let's look at that versus the original. So red and orange, now it's purple and red, which is pretty sweet looking. It's a nice change. And I'm sure once it's combined with everything on here, it's gonna look really nice. I am missing a hand. I'm sure that was just an accident. I, I can't imagine that he just wouldn't come with it. We got the clear crocodile head, which is pretty cool. Totally different take on it. And then the clear paws, which look like this, but we're not here for that. Obviously this is just kinda, we don't, we don't care about the crocodile. But the best part of this whole set, number 34, is the hair. Look at that, that is fantastic. So it is actually translucent to a, a certain extent, but then it's got this like metallic coating, like a pearlescence, a pearl coating. This is really, really cool. It's still the same sculpt. So you have the articulation in the three spots. It's got the uh, face plate, obviously is going to be the same. Let's put the flame one on here because I cannot wait to see what this looks like all together. My 
God. Look at that guy. He is fantastic. Now, I know I'm supposed to pick my favorite one, and this might actually be a lot harder than I thought it would be, because this thing, while it does look incredible and is very, very unique, is it my favorite one? Or is it like a, hey, this is a really cool variant, but I wanna have the main figure, which would be, I don't know. I really like this. I like the all black, he's stealthy, he looks cool. This one's unique because I've had 27 and it feels like I've been here before. This one is a little bit more unique than that. So now he's shirtless, he's got his tail. It's not often you have them like in this kind of battle uh, stage where they don't have their shirts been ripped off or whatever. This is really cool. I really like this matte pink. This is a good looking figure and the joints on all of them has been uh, perfect. They're perfect in that sense. This is just a whole new world. All right, after careful consideration and really looking at these three figures and matching them up at the same hands, the same poses and stuff, this is gonna be my favorite one. And maybe you knew that once I opened it out of the, uh, up out of the box, I, I wasn't sure. It's been, a, it's tough. It's honestly tough because I really do like this one, that, that matte hair. Now, obviously I have all three, so I can mix and match, do whatever I want in that sense. This is just way too unique to pass up. I, th I think with these three designs, you're getting some really cool character uh, work, character designs out of the designs. That's weird <laughs> how words work. But if you want something that's more unique, that really pops on the shelf, that's like, hey, what's that in the background of your video, Jonathan? <laughs> or when you have friends come over and you show them your collection, you post pictures on the internet, what's the one that's gonna make people go, whoa, wait a minute, I've seen Goku Black, but what is that? This is the figure. Hopefully you clicked the link while you were watching this video because these things do sell out super fast and not always just because I'm like sometimes late to getting the review out, but just because people are already checking 5K toys where you follow 5K toys over on Instagram, which you should do, and you see what they have coming and then you order it because you're not crazy. <laughs> this is just too cool to pass up. I cannot wait to get into the posing. I hope you enjoyed the posing segments. And one of my favorite things about this brand is that consistently the joints have been very, very good. I mean, look at that. The hair is really heavy, but his neck can hold it. That's awesome. Thank you everybody that works over there with this company. Excellent, excellent work. And thank you 5K Toys for sending this my way. Click the top video to see number 27 reviewed. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.